Phil, what are you doing? So we've got a little canary, very long nails. You can see how long the nails are that we've cut. Particularly long. <laughs> and we're gonna take off some cysts on the wing. So here are the two cysts, we're gonna turn it over. You can see these are feather cysts. What causes a feather cyst? So canaries, a feather cyst is when the feather doesn't develop normally. It's, it's abnormal and, you, and it ends up um, pretty much like a cyst we would get in, uh, in people, where you get little skin cysts. Ingrown. So ingrown. Ingrown, hair. ingrown hairs. Yeah, so we've all been there before. This little canary has never, it's only been on seed. It's been in a very poor environment. And maybe that's some of the reason why you've got this, but... Um, Spiritually rating if it's still good. I need to get a pair. If anything was still a little bit on the light side. Does this cause any other health problems? Or? Generally not. I mean, obviously when it's lost a few of its flight feathers now, it's not going to fly well. So the infection doesn't get into any other parts of the body. Yes, let me get a pair of gloves. Yeah, we're preparing it so we... Is this a common thing? Very, very common in canaries. So you can see how big they are relative to the size of the little wing. Why are canaries more predisposed to that? Because they, they get genetically bred for all kinds of feathers yeah. and different feather shapes and formations. Yeah. You can see we've given the, we've given the bird fluids. The big thing with all bird surgeries is we just don't want too much bleeding. What's the usual content of these cysts? You'll see that comes out, so it's like cyst means by definition cystic material is going to come out, which is going to be pieces of feather and debris and oil. You can see it's like very cystic material. Scrambled eggs, anyone? Cottage juice. <laughs> yeah, pro tip with this almond, keep yourself grounded, otherwise you get zapped. So we'll take the bird still for a moment. Yep. So here's the, here's the complete cyst that we've taken out. Can I get some? Thank you. So you can see the first cyst is out. It's come back absolutely beautifully. We're going to put in one stitch. Tissue glue. Okay. That's it coming out. This is the next one. See the second. Um, we're not going to necessarily clean the blood off right now because it's, it's we've just done the surgery. I don't want further blood loss and bleeding. But you can see the two big masses that we've taken off. We've had a drop of blood loss from each one. The bird should recover okay, and then tomorrow we'll clean it up. But um, you can see that it's finicky. This bird weighs less than 17 grams. It's probably had one drop of blood loss, which is okay. The masses are quite big. We've taken them out completely. Are they completely out? Will further masses form? Probably yes, because canaries have been genetically bred to have these fluffy feathers and uh, interesting looking feathers. And because of that, so they get more cysts than any other breed of bird that we see. Canary cysts are very, very common. And sometimes like these ones, they get very big and they get infected. So surgical removal is necessary here. And you can see that they were quite vascular as well. We've used, the, we've used absorbable sutures, so I don't have to, we don't have to take them out. We don't have to traumatize the bird more. And everything's so tiny that um, I've decided not to bandage, not to stress this bird anymore. But um, I'm expecting a very good outcome.